Hi guys, I'm gonna be reading chapter 11 from The Toothpaste Millionaire. And this one is called 7,200 Toothpaste Tubes. I dialed Rufus's number. Rufus, I said, I have a problem. Math, Rufus said. I often call him when I'm having trouble with a math assignment. Well, sort of, I said. Rufus, you know how much a gross is. Uh, 144, Rufus said. A dozen dozen. That's right, I said. I knew it had something to do with a dozen, Rufus, but I thought it was just one dozen. What was? Rufus asked. Toothpaste tubes, I said. Rufus, I just bought 50 gross by mistake. And the problem is that I don't think I can carry that many home on my bike. Oh, Rufus said. There was a silence on the other end of the phone. It wasn't Rufus was mad at me. He was just multiplying in his head. 7,200 tubes? Rufus asked after a minute. Is that what you've got? There are quite a few of them, Rufus, I said. Five big boxes. I think I may need a truck. There was another silence. Then Rufus said, probably one tube weighs about an ounce. 7,200 ounces is 450 pounds. Say about a quarter of a ton. Okay, Kate, I know what to do. Where are you? I told Rufus where Pulaski Brothers was. He told me to sit tight till he got there. In about an hour, he showed up on his bike with four friends who delivered groceries for the A&P. The manager of the A&P had, had let them borrow four bike carts from the store. Those bikes with, big, with metal chests in the front for carrying groceries. The four store bikes could carry about 100 pounds each. Rufus and I put the other 50 pounds in saddlebags on our bikes. We got all the tubes to my house and carried them to the laundry room. Rufus opened the box and took out a couple of tubes. You weren't supposed to see them until your birthday, I said. They're real nice, Rufus said. Thank you. Suddenly, I had a terrible thought. Rufus, I said, how are we gonna get the toothpaste into the tubes? The hole in the top is so small. And that is the end of chapter 11.